Hey everyone! Over the past couple of years since I've posted this, I've received a slew of emails and comments saying this doesn't work, I don't know how to do this, etc. So I'm just going to stop the madness and do a little video demonstration of how to use this because I think you'll really like it. Alright, so the first thing I'll need to do, first of all, I'll apologize for all of the background noise. There are people working out in the hallway. You know how it is at schools over the summer. Okay. So, first thing you need to do is just go to ifaketext.com. That is the email address. And then we have the interface of where we can produce this text message. The top here says enter a name. This is the name of the person that you're texting with. So, if we look at my example, I'm texting the class. So, that's very creative, I know, but that's the person. And then you'll notice here on the messages back and forth, it always starts with you as the person starting the message. So keep that in mind when you're designing what you're going to write. So I'm going to enter the name. I'm going to choose Charlie Brown. If you've spent any time on my blog at all, you know I'm a huge Peanuts fan, so there we go. Then choose your carrier so it'll format according to that carrier's look. And down here where it's where we enter the actual text message. Notice it does say it has to be formatted as below. So here we have the two people, dad and son, going back and forth. We have name, colon, space, message. Name, colon, space, message. Name, colon, space, message, etc. And you need to format it that way or it will reject it. So just keep that in mind. And also, again, I'll remind you that you are the person that starts the message. So I'm just going to paste in a conversation between Lucy and Charlie Brown. I am Lucy in this conversation. So we have her name, colon, space, message, Charlie Brown's name, colon, space, message, etc., etc. Look over your message when it looks the way you want it. Go ahead and click create your screenshot. Now this does take a little bit of time, not a whole lot of time, but probably a good 15 to 20 seconds to generate. Okay, and here is our text message. So notice we have the name of the person we're texting, our first message, their message, our message, etc. Over here are some ways that you can save this. You can use the links to either directly link to this site or to embed the image within a site. More than likely, you just want to save the image though. Now there isn't a direct save button on here, so you have a couple options. One, you can use your print screen. Okay, take a picture of the whole screen, save it, and then crop it down. That's one option. Or if you have any kind of screen capture software, so for example, I use Google Chrome, so I've added the extension Snagit, which by the way is free. So I have this guy here, which allows me to just select an area of the screen and click it. And then this pops up. I can name the file here and then click download, and then it'll be available for me to project onto my screen or to insert into documents, whatever it is that I want to do with it. So there you go. In a nutshell is how you use ifaketext.com. So I'm sure you can think of all sorts of creative ways to use it in class. If you have any further questions, please let me know. Just send me an email at faxclassroomideas at gmail.com and I'll be happy to chat with you about it. Have a great day.